She perceives the world as being much brighter than most of us do. Because every number, letter, word, geometric shape, and even sound that Anastasia perceives is associated with certain colors in her head. Anastasia didn't realize for a long time that her perceptions are specific and unique. Until the age of 11, she was sure that others felt the same. I was talking with a friend and told him that his name is Yellow. Anton is a yellow name, and that's quite logical. Maybe you can have some associations as well. He answered, no, that's a little strange. What do you mean? I told him why Tuesday is blue, for example. What's wrong? He answered, no, I can't understand what you're talking about. I thought, well, that's strange. Anastasia found out later that synesthesia, a rare and poorly studied neurological phenomenon, is responsible for her wonderful color perception of the world. The phenomenon, synesthesia, derived from the Greek synesthesias, is determined in psychology as a perceptual phenomenon in which stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leads to automatic involuntary experiences in a second sensory or cognitive pathway. To put it simply, due to stimulation of the cerebral cortex, a synesthete is able not only to hear sounds but also to see them, not only to feel a thing by touch but also feel its taste. First of all, I have strong responses to numbers, letters and sounds, namely music, voices and even weak sounds. Recently, probably a year ago, I realized that I have a synesthetic response to shapes and lines. I mean that if I focus my attention on, let's suppose, I see something round and I think that it looks like a circle, I see the color of the circle. It's quite difficult to believe that there are people who perceive the world like anesthesia. You can't help but doubt. What if it's all the result of a fertile imagination? We'll find out right now. Hello, my name is Anastasia. Hello. The first test will be as follows. You'll have to determine the color of letters which appear on the screen. I see. And the color of these letters won't match your colors. I see. Are you ready? Yes. The first letter, please. Violet. Red. Next one. Green. If every letter in Anastasia's head really has its own color, it takes her some time and additional effort to adjust and name the true color of each letter. However, it seems that our participant doesn't find it difficult and answers without mistakes. Well, let's make the test more difficult and add some more symbols, and in some cases, a color background as well to each slide. Black. Background. Yellow. Next one. Gray. White background. Violet. White background. Next one. Blue and green. Next one. Bright green background. Black and brown. Next one. Oh my gosh. Bright green and violet background. Blue and bright green. Next one. Orange and black. Next one. Red background, white and black. Well, Anastasia made some mistakes at last. But did she notice them? Anastasia, how difficult was this test for you? Well, sometimes it was uncomfortable because I couldn't decide what to choose, a letter or a color. And at some point, you had an unusual emotional response. Why? Oh my gosh. It's just that there were a lot of colors and it was difficult. May I ask you a question? Sure. Anastasia, do you think you did that without yes. mistakes? Maybe you made a few mistakes. I'm not sure. Probably I made some, but I did my best. Can you remember where you made them? What color, in your opinion, did you name wrong? Well, not exactly. Well, I had a controversial moment with a gray color Well, that's understandable. Gray is not a color. Probably with the blue letter E. 
because it looks violet. But frankly speaking, I'm not sure what color it was. Well, look, gray is kind of no yes. color at all, right? A gradation. This is white and gray. Gradations, right. You recognize the gray color on the white background. That means that, that you perceive brightness differently and nothing more. Yes. Could you tell me what colors are the most difficult for your recognition? The most difficult are colors which I associate with other letters or numbers. I mean, similar shades which usually don't go with these letters. Unusual colors that I don't have, I see at once. For example, the bright color green usually doesn't match any letter or number, or it's very rare. As for orange, red, or yellow colors, or dark green, it's much more difficult. It seems that the obstacles that Anastasia faced when performing the task and the mistakes she made show that she has so-called colored grapheme synesthesia. The experts decided to carry out another test to see how unusual this is. During the test, you'll see a rectangle made of two types of numbers. The first type forms the background, the second one, the figure. You'll come up to the screen and point out the figure that is coded in this rectangle as fast as possible. I see. Do you understand the task? Yes. Please come up to the screen. Ready? Yes. Let's go. The experts suppose that Anastasia will recognize all twos on the background of fives very fast. The experts were right. In her head, fives, which form the background, are the color red, and twos, which form the figure, are blue. Now, Anastasia sees these rectangles this way. Well, let's make the test more difficult. It's more difficult with these numbers. They have quite similar colors. Below you can see Anastasia's whole corresponding palette for colors and numbers. Take notice that in her head, nines are black and sixes are dark brown. In other words, that's approximately what she can see now. I don't understand what it is. Can't you say? No. Answer, please. Well, yes. Yes, next one. Are you kidding? Well, okay. Nine, 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 nine. Answer, please. Hmm. Perfect, next one. No sooner had the experts changed the number pairs than her speed and effectiveness of the figure's recognition increased again. That makes sense because it's obviously easier to distinguish yellow threes on the background of bright green violet eights. All in all, Anastasia made two mistakes in the second test. It happened when she was working with rectangles made of nines and sixes. Probably the black and brown colors merged in her head, which made the recognition more difficult. Colleagues, I think Anastasia recognized all of the figures very fast, but she made mistakes. I think it would be important to compare this result with the response of a control subject, an ordinary person. Can we do that? Yes, a control subject. Anton, a volunteer who has no synesthesia, now he has to take the same test. Let's see how fast that he can see the coded figures. It took Anton 40 seconds to show the first figure to the experts. After he sped up a bit, he spent about 20 seconds on every new task with fives and twos. In some cases, he coped with tasks even faster. However, no sooner had the experts changed the number pairs then the speed at which he recognized numbers decreased dramatically. Everything here is broken down. Good. The answer, please. It's quite difficult, as if everything is separated. Very interesting. A big difference. 
Yes, there's yes, a but difference, but in general, Anton would still recognize all of these figures without color perception. No wonder, yes. But the execution time is important. Yes. It's obvious that there's an automatic selection in Anastasia's head. The control subject has no such selection. Yes, it's important that he acquire the skill during the test. I mean, he performed the first test slowly, and then he performed faster and faster. But take notice of broken figures. He begins to look for the second part of the figure again. Yes, he did. Yes, something like that. It seemed like Anastasia saw the entire figure and followed its contour. Well, Anastasia made some mistakes during the test. However, these mistakes proved that she perceived the world differently. It seems that the experts had no doubt that she has synesthesia.